The Apple Watch is my favorite Apple device of all time. And when Apple updates the Apple Watch within its Watch OS, it's a really exciting day for me because I love the Apple Watch and I love the capabilities and the future that the Apple Watch actually has. And Apple has just released Watch OS 9 and it's beta. And there's so many new features and so many new things to get really excited about. So without further ado, let me tell you everything new that I've discovered inside of Watch OS 9, all the new features, changes. Let's get started. Who doesn't get excited about new watch face? We get a couple new watch faces on the Apple Watch, including the new astronomy watch face, which is incredibly beautiful. It obviously displays the time, but it's also updating a 3D model of the Earth, the Moon, and the solar system. So the images that you see are actually 3D renders that represent the Earth currently. We actually already had the astronomy watch faces on the previous Apple Watch, but now it's so much more optimized for the Apple Watch Series 7 in its larger display. It's a very stunning watch face. We also get a new lunar watch face. When you see it on your Apple Watch Series 7, there's so much information on your fingertips. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's a very beautiful watch face. We also get the metropolitan watch face, which is a very metropolitan watch face. It's really beautiful and it just looks very modern. Of course, all the colors are fully customizable and you can really customize it to the band that you're actually wearing. I love it. The modular watch face has also been updated to a very colorful way. So you can now change the background of the watch face, which is something that we've never had before. We usually could change the colors and so, but we could have never changed the entire color of the actual watch face. So once again, if you've got a yellow Apple Watch band, you can really make your watch face yellow now, for example. We also get Playtime, which is new watch face designed by Joy Fulton, which in my opinion, it's very fun, but I don't know how I can actually rock this because it's not classy and it's maybe too fun. I don't know. It's not personally my style, but it's still very fun and it's still a cool new watch face that you can use now. It's just not my style. Siri on Apple Watch now is way less intrusive. So now when you actually activate it and you're within an app, it will not go full screen. You'll simply get that Siri icon on the bottom. And then when Siri wants to talk to you, it will go full screen. So same on the iPhone. Previously on the iPhone, when we wanted to use it, it went full screen. So the Apple Watch has adopted the iPhone with Siri. A very interesting change that Apple has done, for example, on the water reject mode, remember that we always used to do like this and water rejected. We now have to press and hold to eject the water and same thing goes to school time. Okay, um, I'll take it. It's a very interesting change, I guess. I, I kind of liked doing like this, but I can just get used to doing like this. Let's talk about sleep because with sleep, it's very exciting. I absolutely hated the fact that when Apple released sleep tracking on the Apple Watch, it was just so bad and so simple. It basically only told you how many hours you slept, which I could kind of already know without wearing an Apple Watch, but now we finally have actually useful information to whenever we sleep track. It will tell you the time that we're awake, our REM, our core, and our deep sleep, and all of this will be synchronized to our health app on our iPhone. So all the apps that I previously used from auto sleep to pillow, I'm gonna delete them now because it's so well integrated and I just finally like sleep tracking on the Apple Watch. I was seriously so mad when it was released because it was also a very confusing app to use and it was just no information, but now it's actually good. We also get a new app inside of watchOS 9 and that is medication. If you take a pill every single day or if you have to put cream, I've got eczema so I have to put a cream every single day. So I love the fact that the Apple Watch now has a built-in medication app which is extremely powerful to keep you up to date to notify you whenever you have to take a pill or put some lotion in. Something awesome that Apple talked about in the keynote is if you take a pill, it will actually tell you what not to drink, what not to eat, or even more important, what other pills not to take. We also get a redesign notification center. The icons are way much more round, and in my opinion, it looks so much more better. And talking about notifications, notifications act the same as on the iPhone. So previously as well, on the Apple Watch, when you got a notification, 
it went full screen. So if you were doing something and you were actually using the watch, it would just full screen and you wouldn't be able to use it until the notification ended. Now, it's a way much more minimal notification. It's only at the bottom. And if you actually want to take a look at it, you can simply tap on it and it will actually go big. Probably one of the best decisions that Apple has made on the Apple Watch, making notifications minimal. The heart rate app has also been completely redesigned. Previously, we could only take a look at our resting heart rates and our current heart rates. But now, if you would do a workout, for example, if I go running, I can take a look two hours from then on what my heart rate was. And the overall app, the UI has been so much more beautifully designed. The icons are way larger, yet smaller, more rounded. Before you ask why I've got a camera on my wrist, you should probably ask yourself why you don't have a camera on, on your Apple Watch. This is Riscam, and Riscam has just announced Riscam OS 2 as well. And Riscam OS 2 brings video calling to the Apple Watch. Yes, I'll say that again. It brings video calling to the freaking Apple Watch, and it's the best experience I've ever seen. It's so different and unique doing video calls on your Apple Watch. If you're a big fan of the Apple Watch, you absolutely need a wrist cam. Actually being able to take 4K photos, 1080p videos directly on your wrist. You've got image stabilization. You've actually got two cameras, one to take photos of the world and the other one for connecting. Links in the description if you guys want more info. If you love the Apple Watch, wrist cam is honestly an essential from freeing from the phone when you want to. Yeah. The largest new changes have been on the workout app. So now when you go running, you'll have so much more information because runners were complaining that the Apple Watch didn't have enough stats. And Apple was like, okay, you said that, let me put all of that onto the workout app. So you now get so much information, so many views. It's kind of overwhelming on how many different views there actually is. There's a view that you can see directly only your activity ranks because some people don't really like to look at their stats. Then there's also some people that love to look at their stats. There's so much more information and the technology that Apple has put into these stats is actually mind blowing. So if you're a runner, you're going to love these. And then you can also personalize a workout. So maybe you only wanna run for five miles or maybe you only wanna run a specific time. You can actually do that now and you can do a create a workout specific on the workout app. A couple really small UI changes. Now, when you turn off your Apple Watch, you won't get the power off slider. You'll actually get a power icon on the top right. Now, if you tap that, then you'll be able to turn off your Apple Watch. Also, a small UI change that I saw is inside of the mail app, if you actually swipe left or right, that icon is absolutely huge. Apple has learned so much UI on the Apple Watch. They know what to make small and what to make big. Currently, watchOS is such a beautiful software. Everything is just so carefully designed. WatchOS keeps pushing the boundaries on what an Apple Watch can actually do, from sleep tracking to running, from organizing your day. The Apple Watch is an essential to my everyday life. So those are all the major new changes and features and changes in design that I found inside of WatchOS 9. Tap this right here to check out what's new in iOS 16 and tap this right here for my iPad OS 16 content as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. One hundred times a day. Yeah.